All right, so in this video, we're going to provide the proof that the least squares estimator uh, B, which we discussed in the previous video, how to derive that, that that is an unbiased uh, estimator of beta using matrices. All right, so let's just remember what our linear regression model looks like when we use matrices. So we have Y, which is a vector of outcomes, equals X, which is our design matrix, times beta, which is our vector of uh, model parameters, plus epsilon, right, where epsilon is the vector of model uh, error terms, okay? And the assumption is that the expected value of epsilon equals zero, right, where that's an, an n by one vector of zeros, right? That yields the uh, result that the expected value of y equals x times beta, okay? Remember, x is a, a non-random, uh, so, you know, when you have the expected value of y, uh, basically this is a non-random term, and this is zero, so that just goes away, so that makes sense. Um, and in the previous video, we showed that the um, least squares estimator uh, is b, which equals x transpose x inverse times x transpose times y. Right? And so in this video, what we want to figure out is, okay, well, what's the expected value of B? And if we can figure out what this expected value of B is, and hopefully it is beta, then we've shown that uh, B is an unbiased estimator of beta. Okay? So this is basically, we want to know what is the expected value of X transpose X inverse times X transpose Y. Right? And the only, uh, remember, these guys are all fixed, so the only random piece here is y. So I can pull out the fixed pieces. So x transpose x inverse times x transpose times the expected value of y. Okay? And the expected value of y, right? You knew I was mentioning this at some point for some reason. Well, it's up here. There it is. That's the expected value of y. So let's go ahead and plug that in x transpose x inverse x transpose times x beta, right? You notice that these guys are exactly the same, except this one is trans or inverse. So because that's inverse times, you know, basically if you have a matrix inverse times itself, then you get the identity matrix, right? So this basically goes away and you're left with this equals beta. So we have our result, that the expected value of B equals beta. And that was the proof. Now you see how, now you're starting to see hopefully how uh, matrices made this proof a lot easier than the proof that we did prior without matrices, right? And that's the whole point, that matrices are going to make uh, arriving at our solutions uh, much more efficient than uh, before when we weren't using them.